The Royal Air Force's first flying ace of World War II wasn't British, but a New Zealander named Edgar Cobber Kane. Despite his short time fighting in the Battle of France, Kane made a name for himself with his heroic actions. Unfortunately, his promising career came to a tragic and untimely end. Edgar Cobber Kane, born in New Zealand in 1918, had a passion for athletics rather than academics during his early life. While attending Christ's College near the Wigram Aerodrome, he developed an interest in flying after observing Royal New Zealand Air Force pilots during their training missions. Despite failing his medical examination due to high blood pressure, Kane was determined to pursue his dream of joining the RAF. After completing his training, Edgar Kane chose to specialize in fighter aircraft and was accepted as an acting pilot officer in March 1937. He further honed his skills and earned his wings in June of that year, becoming known for his impressive acrobatic maneuvers. Assigned to number 73 Squadron RAF, Kane flew the Gloucester Gladiator before transitioning to the Hawker Hurricane Mark I, earning the nickname Cobber among his comrades. After a series of mishaps, Edgar Kane was promoted to flying officer in July 1939. When the Second World War broke out a month later, his squadron, number 73 Squadron RAF, was immediately mobilized. Deployed to France as air support for the BEF, they had little contact with the Germans during the phony war. However, on November 8, 1939, Kane achieved his first aerial victory by shooting down a Dornier Du-17 while flying his Hawker Hurricane. During the Battle of France, Edgar Kane, known as Cobber, showcased his skills by taking on two Messerschmitt BF 109s and successfully eliminating one. This marked his fifth kill, earning him the title of Flying Ace and the promise of the Distinguished Flying Cross. As Kane's fame spread, he continued flying missions and even got engaged, but the German Blitzkrieg on France forced him and his squadron into the heart of the conflict. Undeterred, Kane swiftly added to his kill count, downing three enemy aircraft between May 10-12, 1940, and two more on May 19. After enduring constant attacks and the strain of battle, Edgar Kane was temporarily relieved from duty on May 22. However, the urgency of the Battle of France called for his return to the skies just three days later. By June 1940, Kane had achieved an impressive record of 17 enemy aircraft downed, earning him a well-deserved order to return to England for rest and recovery. In his final flight, Edgar Cobber Kane took to the skies in his Hawker Hurricane, intending to showcase his aerial prowess with a series of daring roles. However, on his third attempt, he misjudged the altitude and tragically crashed into the ground, losing his life at the tender age of 21. His burial took place in Troyes, but his remains were later laid to rest at the Choloi War Cemetery, with a poignant headstone paying tribute to the man who inspired his homeland of New Zealand. The news of Kane's untimely demise swiftly spread throughout the Commonwealth, making him a widely mourned figure.